Fox 32 News starts now. It's basically a racial form of gun control. But tonight, new guidelines govern a controversial police procedure. Civil rights advocates call them stop and frisks. Police call them investigative stops and protective pat-downs. Whatever the name, the ACLU says too many happen to African-American men in Chicago. Today, an unprecedented agreement between Chicago police and the ACLU on how to handle them going forward. We're in a time in this country when policing is, is being scrutinized at a level that it hasn't been scrutinized probably since the late 60s. Some of that scrutiny coming from the ACLU. Last March, it published a report suggesting 72% of the people stopped and frisked in Chicago were African American. The Chicago police uses this catch and release program of stop and frisk as a means to confiscate illegal weapons. It's a tool that every department in the country uses. And, and to be clear, I'm going to tell you something that you already know. We take more guns off the street than any department in the country every single year. But Darnell Smith believes he was wrongly targeted. The whole ordeal was just humiliating. I was standing in front of the house waiting on food for my grandparents when an unmarked police car traveling against the floor of traffic up the one-way street stopped and jumped out and started searching me and going through my pockets and patting me down. He is one of several dozen who filed suit claiming Chicago police violated their rights. It's basically a racial form of gun control. Today, Chicago police and the ACLU announced they've come to an agreement. It's not going to be a change in the actual way that we stop people. It's going to be a change in the way that we record it. And an independent monitor will look over the records and provide a detailed public report twice a year. This agreement between the ACLU and the city of Chicago is a tremendous step in the right direction. This may be the first time a police agency has come to this kind of an agreement with the ACLU without going to court. Since so attorney says they will proceed with their suit to make sure Chicago police execute the new policy properly.